Are you ready? Oh my god. So many people have been asking us to look at this. So I'm like, are we gonna, like, we're gonna look at it, but golly, so many people are like, look at that old couple versus new couple video, Jabby, what are you doing? And like freaking out, comments every day. I'm like, yo, we're gonna Guys, look at it. It's gonna come out. I, it comes out you, on a particular day. Yeah. Calm down. Yeah. Regular programming is happening. Exactly. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, Jordindian, old couple versus new couple. Thank you, Jordindian, for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate it. Y'all, please subscribe if you haven't already to the channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time we drop another video. All notifications, if that's cool with you. If it's not, then you know what, at least to subscribe and hit some kind of notification thing. Yeah. So, um, about 40% of our audience, that 1.32 million subscribers, is, uh, that, that's, I just said it, yeah. So, that's 40% of our audience. Mm. The 1.32 million. So, there's a 60% that is not subscribed. I'd love it if y'all who are, are revisiting us regularly but not subscribed would subscribe and hit that bell icon. That would mean so much to the Jabs, yeah. so much to the Achars, and so much to the other Koi families who are like, yeah. members who are like, what are you, Stop creeping! Yeah, stop creeping. Come join us! Be part of the family, like, yeah. we'll, we'll send you the placard. I keep saying the laminated card. The yeah. official membership card. That's so, anyway. Hello, welcome. Uh, let's, let's look at this. Here we go. One more, what? One second. Hello? Hey, hi, dude. Hey, no, dude, I can't make it today. I'm so tired, I can't even lift a finger. <laughs> yeah, I promise, next Tuesday, for sure. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure, bro. For sure. Yeah, I'm in a business meeting at the moment. But yeah. Oh, this is too real. Yeah, we'll meet on the weekend, bro. For sure. For sure. I'm just a little busy right now, bro. I'm driving. Yeah, I'm, I'm just taking a U-turn. Oh my God. I, I want She's to like, what are you doing? Sure, <laughs> Today I can't make it, bro. My grandma just got in with a nose, bro. Yeah, we're here, bro. We're at the ICU at the moment. Yeah, something. She's like, so more, bro. I don't know. <laughs> Just got Nothing, shot out of the we thought we lost her, but <laughs> she came back to life. It's a, it's a miracle. But yeah, we, bro, next week for sure, bro, for sure, for sure. <laughs> uh, babe. Yeah. Well, why are you all dressed up? Because I'm going out. But I thought today was movie night. Mm -mm. It's ladies' night. Yeah, Ciao. that's right. Bye. Okay, have fun. <laughs> She's gorgeous. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, bro, what's up? Long time. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to call to see if you wanted to catch up. Uh, I would have loved to catch up, bro, but it's just that I'm so exhausted right now that I can't even move my finger. You're feeding your girlfriend ice cream, aren't you? <laughs> uh, next week I'll catch up with you, bro. For sure, for sure. Next, bro, next week, for sure. For sure, next week I'll get for sure. <laughs> I'm so glad we could finally do this. Me too. I've been looking forward to this ever since we swiped right. Thank you so much for the flowers. I love them. Uh, no problem. Oh, by the way, I told my friends about you and they're dying to meet you. Oh, oh my god. Oh, god. Are you <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind it. Yo, that paneer butter masala I had for lunch is disco dancing in my stomach. There's so many things I have to show you. Why am I doing this? doing this. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Also, we should totally do a party together. Extra Rajma, you want to do it. We could do a mani pedi together. It'll be so cute. One bomb if I leave. No, nothing will be cute. <laughs> I can't wait. Lovely idea. But could you just give me one second? Oh, no. Just one second, I'll be back. Right now? Yeah, I just remembered something. Could you yeah, come back? Yeah, T minus T. Oh. Hey, hey, oh, escape, escape, escape. Go, go, go. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, he's What's he going doing? so far. Oh, oh, he's, he's, he's gotta go. Hello, sir. Where is drop location, sir? <laughs> oh, he called the number just for that. <laughs> sir, thank you so much. Sir. I'm dying. I'm just gonna fart in front of her. Yep. <laughs> In her direction, too. That's so rude. <laughs> no Rajma for you. <laughs> again and again. Come on, parkour. 
Especially that girl Sharon. Yeah, she was like, "You feeling cold, or what?" Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Fine. Why do girls always say they're fine? No, it's, it's fine. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, really, I insist. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. So, like I was saying, that girl Sharon, like, she gave me some cake and stuff, and we were talking about life, and uh-huh. she was like. Would you would you would you run and never look back? I can be your hero baby. <laughs> I can kiss away the, the pain. I will stand by you forever. Forever. You take my Despacito. <laughs> 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 Do you really want to Even though I know you are on keto. Oh shit. All of me loves all of you. Why this collaboration? Oh. This collaboration. <laughs> I wrote this for you, Savitri. You did it. Last night, I sat up and made an original composition just for you. But please don't google it. It'd be an insult to my creativity. All I wanted to say was, I love you. I love you too. But I love you more. But I love you the mostest. No, no. But I love you forever and ever 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 and ever. Are you done? Go now. But she's my love. Forget it. I'm calling a cab. Hey, 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 Savitri. Sorry, Dana Lakshmi. She's just jealous of me. That's all of me. Love all of you. Please don't run out of you. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. They used to be funny. Yeah, their new videos aren't even that great. Plus, they take like two months to post one video. Now, who's gonna wait? They literally used yeah, the audio earlier in the video. <laughs> Sorry. Oh dude. my God, what is that deadly sneeze? You're falling sick. Or what show? Ah. Uh, I knew it. You're falling sick. Take this. Oh, you're getting fever also. You never listen to me. I told you not to eat that ice cream, no? Now you listen to me. I'm going to bring you soup. Okay. I'll do drishti for you. I'll do everything for you. Don't move a muscle. I'll I'm, take care of you. I'm fine. You're not fine. It's just a sneeze. I'm fine. You're not <laughs> fine. Oh. 
really sick. Oh no. Adi? It's like Adi? That tissue yeah. is so used. Can you bring me one crossing, please? I can't come that far for crossing and all. Please, just one crossing. <laughs> Look at her face. She's like. Move left. <laughs> My left, yeah, my left. <laughs> yeah. I'm going left, you go right. Keep your head straight, da. Oh. Come on, try again, you can do it. Steady, steady. Oh, yes. my God. Hello? Hey. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? Nothing, just chilling with the boys. What about you? I was thinking mm -hmm. you could come over. Come over and? Nobody's home. Your Honor, my client is 100% yeah. secure. <laughs> Damn. Hey, why, who asked you to park it? No parking, man. You take him away, Your Honor. I'll see you later. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Hey, come in. Hello? Hey. Ah, what do you want? Uh, what are you doing? I'm in the middle of something very important. What do you want? I was just thinking that you could come over. You're mad or what? I don't know how much traffic is there. And also, I'm dealing with something really, really important. But nobody's home. Oh, what if nobody's home? Then what are you doing there? You go meet Sanjay yeah. and go for a movie or something. No. I'll call you later. See you. See you. Bye. 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 Flank ride. Flank ride. You flank ride. Huh? Tell you flank uh, ride. Want to go to jail or what? Okay, I'm flanking right. Uh -huh. Flank ride. Note this part, Your Honor. So. Indian. <laughs> That was on point. 
all of that, I think that's so true. That must be the longest Jordanian video that, that they've made That was really so long. I mean, yeah. long for them. It's not long, it's just long for them. Because I'm used to their videos being like four to five minutes. I didn't mind it. I thought it was cool that they gave more time to all these different jokes. I'm yeah. Like, I mean, it's it, to me, it's better than undercutting your joke to, for the sake of like making it four minutes. Yeah. You know, I think it's better to allow it to breathe more. And I, I, I like the lengthier video. Yeah, no, I know? enjoyed it. I mean, it didn't even feel long. So, no, it, it, did, it did go by pretty quick. That girl's really pretty. <laughs> I, I know. She is Nasser's girlfriend, that's what I, I think. I know, I know she's Nasser's so, girlfriend. I was going to yeah. point that out, too. Um, I, I, I was, um, leave it alone, I'm not, I'm not. What do you mean, leave it alone? I'm not pursuing anything. I, I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't mind me calling out that her girl, his girlfriend's pretty. Your girlfriend's hot. Dude. Yeah, she's pretty. You know, yeah. Very yeah. pretty. In fact, both of the ladies in this. Super hot. I thought there were three, but I'm, three. Okay, it's just well, like, could, could be pretty good makeup. Yeah, like good dressing up and. They are all beautiful ladies. Yes. Just wanna put that out there. Anywho, what did you think of the video? I felt like this is a classic case of where like I felt more like the chick in in one or two instances when he got sick and she's trying to take care of him. I feel like that's something I would do. Like I I'm always trying to be like, oh let me go get, I'll run to the store and get you a, a tampon or whatever you need you know and, and come back with a diaper because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> but like that's a true story actually. He came back with <laughs> no, not adult a, diapers. Not adult diapers, but it was just. This you came back with like the, I, the I, hardcore lady pads, right? Yeah, the big like ones. I was, I just started going out with this girl. Her period just suddenly like hit, and I'm like, well, let me run to the store for you. Oh, she didn't bring like an extra one or something like that. Okay. And so I went, I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, and they got all these different brands, so I got like the biggest one I've. The point is Bigger that Bigger is not always better, guys. No, yeah, that's never what I hear, but <laughs> my point is that like I, I will try to like remedy the situation whenever possible. I'll go right. out of my way, even if I'm doing it wrong. I will go out of my way to try to remedy the situation. That's very sweet. Yeah. Do you do that throughout the relationship or mostly in the beginning? I think in general I do it, but I'm a little bit more reluctant as the time goes on. I'm like, yeah. can't you do it yourself? Yeah. Like, but I mean, I feel like that's just what happens. You feeling cold away? Right? No, no, I'm fine. You sure? Because yeah. I, I can give you my jacket. The thing with the jacket is a pet peeve of mine because you know it's gonna be cold. What are you thinking or why aren't you thinking? Listen, in the Sometimes beginning, a jacket doesn't go with the cute dress you're wearing. It's very hard to find jackets that go with your outfit. And then when you're inside, it's hot, so you need to take it off. Then where are you going to put your jacket? You know, you don't, you don't want to tie it around your waist because that's also not cute. It's all about aesthetic. And you're happy to look at us when we're looking all cute and stuff, but then we freeze. So give me your jacket. My point is, you knew it was gonna be cold. At some point, you gotta figure out how to make that work. You gotta find jackets that complement the outfit, not outfits that don't have any jackets to complement it. That is that is true. I mean, I I, so. I am actually that girl who will usually have a jacket. I've okay. never been that type of girl who will go out on a cold night and not have a jacket. With the jacket thing, I still do that even well into a relationship, but I will not hesitate to be like, didn't you know? You like, bitch about it the I, whole time. I, I knew, I didn't want, well, not the whole time, but it's like I knew, and so then I give up my jacket and I make them wear it because they're always like, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> and just like she oh, did, yeah. it's like she's just like, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You know, it's like, no, you're not good. I can see you're, you're about to get frostbite on your face. Can like, So then I give them my jacket and I, I man up. I don't shake, I shake on the inside. I'm like, ugh, it's fine. With rage. I'm like, I'm like Jordan. I'm just like, I'm fine. It's cool. I'll be out here in a thin white t-shirt. That's yeah. her brother-in-law. Yeah, he's like, no, I'm Scottish. It's fine. Like, dude, your nipples. It's like do not minus say the same three thing. degrees in Scotland. Yeah. He's like, I'm chill. No pun intended. Hey, no, dude, I can't make it today. I'm so tired. I can't even lift a finger. I thought that first one was so true. In the beginning of a relationship, you're always, you know, like, I just want to spend as much time as possible with my new love every day, every weekend, every waking moment. You're like, yeah, 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 you're blowing off all your friends. I always feel like anytime my friends have just started dating someone, I mentally prepare myself to not see them for about six months until they, you know, get their fill. Then they'll be fine, then they'll come back. Yeah, I, I, I generally don't. <laughs> Oh, you don't? <laughs> no. Ever? I don't know. You just stay with your girlfriend, just stay with my girlfriend all the time? In, the, in her basement. Like, yeah, sometimes. You know what? I think it's good sometimes to have like a girl's night or a boy's night. Like, go do you. 
go have fun and then you can come back and appreciate your boyfriend or girlfriend more. It just felt very real because he's, he's, he's passing up all these opportunities to hang out with his friend, and when he finally needs his friend, his friend then has a girlfriend, yeah. and he doesn't have any time for him. He's like, see what you did? Yeah. Goes around, comes around, right? I don't do that a lot, but I have been in those instances where I'm like, oh yeah, I'm in a, I'm about to go into a meeting, bye, and then, but I'm really just hanging out with a girl. Yeah. You know? I, yeah, I, I do not doubt that. Priorities, man, priorities. Yeah. Hello, sir. Where is drop location, sir? Here only, sir. Fine. The one that killed me was the fart one. <laughs> I, well, I think everyone knows that. Mm. Well, first of all, fart jokes get me every time, but I think that is so true, 100%. I don't know if this is just a girl thing or if it's a guy thing as well. I'm pretty sure it's just across the board, but going number two in your new significant other's home is like the worst ever. I'm gonna be real here, I, I will just not go if I have to go, I will just be like, nope, gonna just be strong and not do this thing until I get into a safe space yeah. where this other person isn't here. But I have heard some girlfriends will literally, you know, call an Uber <laughs> and go home yeah. because they do not want to deal with that situation. Oh, well with I, a new boyfriend. I mean, anytime I know that I'm gonna go out with a, uh, some new broad, I check myself throughout the day. I like, okay, don't eat that, don't eat that, don't eat, you can't eat, you can, I can't eat most things. I'm basically in starvation mode up until the dinner because it takes a while for that stuff to process and then the farts come out later. So I was like, I time everything <laughs> accordingly, you know, because anything can make me gassy. You know? and, and, but I, I mean, I did have a situation I told you about. because I'm was thinking of a specific story and I don't know if you're gonna share it. Here, no, I'm gonna but, share it, okay. but like, it, it, it's like, Achar was like around when this happened. <laughs> Basically, there was this new girl that I was just started dating. This was, what, two years ago? Yeah, yeah. I went to her place hanging out and I had to use the bathroom. And I have this irrational fear. It's not completely irrational once you hear the end of the story. I had this irrational fear that I was gonna clog her toilet because it's happened to me many times. You know, I'm very vigorous. And so, <laughs> I clogged the toilet. And she didn't have a toilet plunger. And I'm like, what? How do you not have a toilet? That already was a bad sign, but like it became this adventure where we went to Target to get a plunger. And then like once we stopped dating, I like texted her a picture of a plunger at one point and she understood the joke. So <laughs> you gotta watch yourself. I don't, the thing, the thing that this reminded me of had nothing to do with a girl. Wow. Um, Cause we were at the screening of Onward yesterday mm -hmm. and there was a dude who recognized me that, that we met like 10 years ago. We used to like train together and I completely forgot about this dude, but like I saw his face, I'm like, do I know you? Anyway, we're like catching up and whatnot. At the event for Onward, they had a lot of dairy items and I needed to eat. So I started eating before I got, I, I realized I had dairy uh, pills. And so I was processing through my body and then I'm in the conversation with the guy and I realize I'm having little toots. <laughs> I didn't know this. Yeah. Is this, this really happened? Yeah. And so I'm like, <laughs> I'm like trying to exit the conversation as fast oh, as possible. God. Were they smelly too? No, I did a pretty good job. They weren't like ninja bombs. <laughs> they were like fan they were phantom bombs. That's the worst because if they smell bad and yeah. no one else is around, yeah. at least if there's a lot of people around, there were can, children around, you can so kind it could have been children. Off. It's like, but, oh, who did that? No, but Not thankfully me. there was no children standing behind me. But they were phantom bombs, meaning they weren't like horrible. Ninja bombs is where like it, it's a silent but deadly thing. It's like cut you, yeah, but. <laughs> You know, but this one is just like, it just kind of went away. I was like, good. But I, I was trying to get out of the conversation as quickly as possible as soon as I farted, because I was just like, I don't want to be around when this happens. <laughs> oh know. dear. That is real. Yeah. But it was also the commentary that he was having in his head, like, oh, I shouldn't have eaten that thing. Oh, why did I do that? Yeah. Like, that was so funny. But, but then it gets super real when he's like around his girlfriend and he's just to totally letting out the fart. It's like nobody's business. Because you get comfortable. Every single relationship, that is true. Okay, look, I don't mind if my boyfriend is gonna fart in my presence. The thing that annoys me is what he did, which is he goes, and like just does it in the direction of his girlfriend. Like, dude, just lift the other way. Don't send it in my general direction. That's rude. I don't or, think like, I've ever gotten like that. Fart in my atmosphere. No, I, I'm always anxious about that. I will 
totally let one loose in front of my girlfriend. Yeah, but take aim, but, shoot in the opposite but direction. I will go across the apartment or the house or whatever the case may be because it's it's a little it's still a little bit embarrassing for me. <laughs> if that happens, I won't let them get risk you know frisky with me. Just in case. I don't want them smelling anything. <laughs> Very shy. You guys, uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you, Jordanian, for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciated, as always. Check out Achara Kirk on the social media. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so you get notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I am Jabby Kawe. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.